Hi guys, it's Justin Church and I'm back today for my another Elvis Week video. And it's going to be a documentary about his life and his music, pretty much. Alright, so what you hear in the background, if you can hear it, is this. Elvis with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, The Wonder of You from 2016. Alright, let's get started. So Elvis Aaron Presley was born on January 8th, 1935. He was the child of Gladys Love Presley and Vernon Ellis Presley. He has a twin brother, but he, de he was still born. His name was Jesse Garrett Presley. And when Elvis was one years old, his family survived a really bad tornado in Tupelo, Mississippi. I don't know if I said that. So yeah, they were born in Tupelo. He was born in Tupelo. They had a tornado. And three years later, or two years later, 1938, his father was arrested for tax fraud. And the family lost their home and had to move his relatives. In 1948, when Elvis was 13, they moved to Memphis, Tennessee, where his family lived in an okay, better house than what they were living in at first. And then in 1950, he started high school. And in 1953, he graduated from high school. And in July of that same year, 53, he record he went to Sun Records. At and started rec he recorded a song, two songs called My Happiness and That's When Your Heart Is Begin. He was an unknown truck driver. And when he, he recorded those songs at his own expense, and there was a lady there that day, and she took down his name, and, and the owner, Sam Phillips, came in, and she, she played him the song, and said, oh, this is pretty good. He's got potential. But he wanted to, wanted to help him a little bit more. So... In 1954, there was this unknown black musician who recorded a song called Without You. And they were, trying to, they were all there trying to look for this black singer. And they said, how about the kid with sideburns? That's what Sam Phillips said. So they called up Elvis, and he recorded Without You, but failed to give it its best. So while he was, while they were, they were all on a break, and Elvis started strumming with his guitar, and his bandmate, Scotty and Bill, helped him. And then they recorded That's All Right, which was put on a radio station. And the guy had to keep pl played it over and over and over again for the last two hours of his radio show. And when Elvis went to a movie, and his mother came and said, Oh, we got, we got an interview. You got to go to the interview. And he left the movie and went to did his interview. And he, they were trying to figure out a uh, flip side to That's All Right, and it ended up being Blue Moon of Kentucky. And on December 18th, 1954, Elvis went to the, and played on the Louisiana Hayride for the first time. And he played Twiddly D. That was the song that he played, the first song he played. And all throughout 1955, he recorded songs, such as Baby Let's Play House, I Forgot to Remember to Forget, I Don't Care the Sun Don't Shine, Mystery Train, and a bunch of other ones. And late 1955, Colonel Tom Parker became Elvis' manager, and RCA signed, bought out Elvis' contract for $30,000. In 1956, January 10th, 1956, Elvis recorded his song Heartbreak Hotel, which became a gold hit, by his first gold record. And in March of 56, his, his debut album was released called Elvis Presley. And it contained songs like Blue Suede Shoes, Tutti Fruity, I got a woman, I'm counting on you, one side of the love affair, money, honey, and then the song, I love you because, just because, trying to get you, I'm, I'm going to sit right down and cry over you, I'm not going to let you go, little darling, and bloom were all fun demos that were never released. And then, a few months later, he went on the Dorsey shows. And then, later that same year, he went on the Milton Berle show, and he performed Time Dog and met Derek Padgett, who would later who he later star with in the movie Love Me Tender. And Elvis also went on the Steve Allen show and had to wear a tuck and sing to a dog. He sang Hound Dog to a Hound Dog. And Elvis was so embarrassed by that performance, he said, uh, he pretty much said he hated the performance. And this is, he said this, I remember this how far quote, I had to sing to a dog. He was so embarrassed by that performance that he never played on the Steve Allen show again. And also said, I want you, I need you, I love you too. You can tell by the look on his face that he was pissed and he did not want to do it. So yeah, he never played on that again. The Steve Allen show again. 
and he recorded his um, second album in like, 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 during that summer. And it features songs like Love Me, When My Blue Moon Turns to Gold Again, First in Line, Paralyzed, How Do You Think I Feel, Ready Teddy, and Rip It Up, and some other stuff. And on September 9th, 1956, history was made. He always put on the Ed Sullivan show for the first time. And the songs that he did were Ray Teddy, Time Dog, Love Me Tender, and Don't Be Cruel. And then, I think he'll might even do Love Me. And on October 20th, 1956, he did Love Me and Have And that was how he ended in 1956. And then he went on to 57, and he played on the Ed Sullivan show for his, la- his third and last time. And he did songs like Heartbreak Hotel, Don't Be Cruel, When My Blue Moon Turns to Gold Again, Hound Dog, Too Much, Peace in the Valley, and a bunch of others. And then he went on to make his second motion picture, Loving You, which featured songs like Loving You, Loving Me, Teddy Bear, Blueberry Hill, does on the soundtrack, but the movie songs were like, Hot Dog, Party, Love Me, Be Your Teddy Bear, Loving You, Me and Woman Blue. And then later that same year, he did fourth motion picture, Jailhouse Rock. And it featured songs like Jailhouse Rock, Young and Beautiful, I Want to Be Free, Don't Leave Me Now, and some Tricky Night. And that was a dramatic film, as they called it. And then, in October of 57, he released Elvis' Christmas album. Yeah, I'm getting it for you. That's a and this is with the packaging, the picture cover. This is not to be the most beautiful record that he has released. The original pressing. This is just a fight music. You can see it's an original on the barcode. And it came with a booklet. I'm not going to film through the whole thing. I'll just show you a few pictures. Alright, so yeah, that. So, this feature sounds like Blue Christmas, White Christmas, Here Comes Santa Claus, It Is No Secret What God Can Do, Old Little Time Bethlehem, Silent Night. But there's a controversy with this album. The guy who originally produced White Christmas was not happy about his uh, performance of it at all. And he had his employees call radio stations and everything. But he did whatever he could do in his power to get the album banned from radio waves, and especially White Christmas. But that just made it more popular. And it's now the best selling Christmas album of all time. And then we'll 1958. Ellis record, did his movie, King Creole, and King Creole from January 20th, 1958, through March of 58. There's a big controversy because Uncle Sam had come calling to him while he was by some of the movie. And there's threats, calls, and people were saying he was the, that the government. This was just the government's way of ruining Elvis' career. And so the government finds out. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm filming this movie, but then he has to start his training. So after the movie was done being filmed, he did his training, and then he became Sergeant Presley or GI Presley, something like that. And. He went on to Germany, he was stationed in Germany, and all that other fun stuff. And while he was in the army, his mother got really, really sick. So, he went home on an emergency call thing, and he stayed with his mother, and she was in the hospital. And on an August 14th, 1958, she passed away of a heart attack. And he was, Elvis was absolutely just devastated. And he went, and then after the, fu- they had a funeral, and after the funeral was done, she 
but he went back to Germany and did his time. He did it took his two years. And on March 7, 1960, Elvis had returned home and recorded Stuck on You and Damian Fortune. And then he was also featured in the Frank Sinatra show special called Welcome Home Elvis. And then he recorded Elvis is Back. And then he went on to make his another motion picture, G.I. Blues, which is about a soldier in the Army. And when he found out about that, he was not a happy camper. He said, are you kidding me? I just wore the, arm, the, the suit for two years. I have to start wearing it again. And he was not happy at all whatsoever. So he did his movies, and then he recorded his first gospel album called Just Hand of Mine. And didn't get the attention that should have. And then we move on to 1961. He recorded his album Something for Everybody. And then he did his most popular movie, Blue Hawaii. And when and it was his most popular movie, I gotta say, because of the song Can't Help Falling in Love. And then we move on to 1962. Elvis made another movie called Girls, 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 which had the hit Return the Sender. And he also did an album called Potluck with Elvis. And then we move on to 1963. Oh, I just remember my head. He did another movie in 1960 called Fleming Star. But that's our, uh, I know, now we're moving to 1963. He did a movie called, um, Fun and Alcapuga. And in 1964, he did Roustabout. 65, he did Girl Happy and Tickle Me. In 66, he did Frankie and Johnny recorded the hit, if Every Day Was Like Christmas. And 1967 comes around, and he released his second gospel album, how great thou art, and it went gold and all this other stuff. It became, it became a really, really, really popular album. It was the only Grammy he received was for How Great Thou Art. He won a Grammy for it, it was the only Grammy he'd ever won in his lifetime. And then Elvis was sick of the movie career. His movie career. He was done. He didn't want to do it anymore. He wanted to get back up on stage and come to the 1968 comeback special. And he performed a whole bunch of songs. And he became popular again because his, his, his career was going down in the toilet, as they said. And he was not happy at all. So he wanted to re boost his career. And he was watching the news one night and they're talking about him. He said, How about how his career is dying? He. he, he the, the, Pretty much like about a CJ come back special day saying, This is probably not gonna work and everything's gonna be all over and all that. And he shot a TV. Which he did plenty of times during uh, the next decade. He shot a TV and he went and did a six day comeback special and it was a big success. So, you know, they, they said, Oh yeah, yeah, it's not gonna work, he's gonna be done, blah 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 and it worked. He became successful again and everybody carried on again and the Beatles, you know. They had overtaken his career, you know, during the time. And he met the Beatles in 1965, which I forgot to mention. But, yeah, the Beatles had overtaken his career, and he was unhappy, and he wanted it back, and he hated the Beatles. But, yeah, he wanted his, he got his career back, you know, he became famous again, and then he went on to record from Elvis in Memphis, which features stuff like Suspicious Minds. And some other songs because you know that, and almost have been the ghetto as long as Yeah, his his hit single, Suspicious Mind in the Ghetto. And in the ghetto, they can do shit. And now we move on to the nineteen seventies. And Elvis in the seventies became a Vegas act. He wore the ridiculous white suit and he was all messed up on drugs and in that early nineteen seventy he went and met President Nixon. And he wanted all this, like, badges and all this, like, spy stuff. And, and he, was, he was all like, uh... Pre I think the president was a little weird. I was, like, kind of shocked in a way. And he took this famous picture and of him and El the president and Elvis shaking hands. Very famous photo. And while... 
And then I went on to 1971. The Elvis, you know, did a bunch of concerts. Really wasn't really recording any album. But he did, however, do an album called The Wonderful World of Christmas, which was his second and last Christmas album. That was not a great hit. It was his last Christmas studio release. And it features some songs like Oh Come All You Faithful, The First Noel, and some other stuff. In 1972, coming around, and he played at Madison Square Garden for the first time. And there was an interview, and he was talking about how he was doing the, the New York thing, and it's the first time he ever played at Madison Square Garden. And Paul Stanley recalls, Paul Stanley from Kiss recalls that he had he was a tax driver at this time, and he remembers he says he remembers driving people to see Elvis at the Madison Square Garden. He said. One day that he he would do he'd be playing Madison Square Garden, but we're not gonna talk about Paul Stanley. We're not just saying that because he just said that he remembers doing that. And then 1973 comes around. Elvis performs his um, Oaha from Hawaii via satellite special, which got like one billion viewers. And then throughout that year, he was hospitalized twice for overdosing. And one time he, one time during that year too, he uh, was in a three-day coma in his hotel suite that he was in. You know, 1974, it wasn't getting much better for him. He recorded some stuff like, if you talk in your sleep, don't mention my name, and released uh, a couple different albums. And then we go on to 1975. He was getting worse, his health was getting worse, and he released the album called Today, and pretty much that's it, and then we go on to 1976, and his health was even worse than before. So now, he's getting bigger, you can tell that something's wrong, his health is declining, and nothing's getting looks good for him. Then 1977 comes around, and, you know, he was doing a bunch of concerts. He released his last studio album called Moody Blue, which is on blue vinyl. I have, but I'm not going to sort look through it. And Elvis was really sick during that year, and he did his final NBC television performance, when he kept laughing through Are You Lonesome Tonight. Then August 16th, 1977, comes around. Elvis was up all night the night before. He's out at 4 o'clock in the morning playing racquetball with all his friends and his then fiance, Ginger. Ginger Banks is not on his I can't remember. I actually don't remember what her last name was. All I know is her name, her name is Ginger. And then at the end of that day, he was on the toilet, and he died, pretty much. Which, that was 41 years ago today. I don't know if I mentioned that to be good, but yeah, today was the anniversary of his death. This is almost 28, and I think I mentioned that. But he had a heart attack. He pronounced dead at 2.30 in the morning. I meant 2.30 in the afternoon. And the people went and swooped over to Graceland, you know. Millions of people went through there, you know. People were, like, getting sick, getting injured, getting trampled on. Two teenage girls died. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Though, you know, El Elvis is the, one of the most... is the most well-known musician of all time. Even now, 41 years after his death. Like, his most successful album from after his death was Elvis, their number one hit. Because it um, featured the JXL remix of A Little Less Conversation from 2002, which was a major hit. Major hit. Featured in commercials and movies. And yeah, Elvis is still one of the most well known singers of all time. I mean, you guys know, did that for 41 years. I mean, look. We still get these. We get these Royal Philharmonic albums every year. 
I don't know if won this year though. I mean, a new album just came out, which I have not gotten yet. Came out called When No One Stands Alone. I hope they get it soon. Kind of, I got the same basis as these albums. This is a uh, Philharmonic. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed my little documentary. I mean, not like no big, you know, three hour long documentary or uh, nothing like that, but I did what I could. And, you know, I, I explained the history, you know, best my knowledge. I mean, you know, I, I didn't mention everything because some of the stuff really wasn't that important to mention. But I, I, did, I think I did a pretty good job. I brought down some of the basics. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And please hit like the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Alright, thanks. And bye. Yeah, I know, I should have stopped it, but... Okay, let's just stop for a few seconds.